lost in the semifinals to Canada, but the strength of this team, the Czech team, if they're going to be a competitor in this tournament, is up front, and they've got Netchas starting the game. And inflicted now by Christoph Robic, who's a returnee from last year. Only six of these players for the Czechs play major junior hockey in Canada. That is a far cry from past years with a quick chance for Netchas. He fired that high and wide. But 11 of their 20 players are playing in North America right now. Some in college, some in the American League, then the six in Major Junior as well. The one player they didn't get was Philip Kiedel from the New York Rangers. That wasn't going to happen. A little, a little important for the Rangers right now. And, of course, the Swiss don't have their best 1999 board player, Nico. A very punitive penalty. It basically takes a player out of a full period. You know, I mean, that's one way to make sure you, you put the message. You don't want any checks from behind near the boards. And... It is a hefty call. In comes Netjaz, plays it across to Martin Count, back for Netjaz, in, shoots, and a glove save. Hollenstein makes the save as he gets the glove on it. Here's Kral back at the point for Zadina. Zadina takes the return pass, walks in, plays it back down to Count. Netjaz had that skip off his stick, and the puck is poked out by Justin Segrist. Zanina, up for count, had a tag back up. That gives Ramon Tanner some time, and Tanner banks it off the boards, and now moved up by Marco Lehman, and back down the check zone. A good effort by Lehman to get down the ice here, and he pushes about five seconds off the clock. Zanina winds his way in with net jazz, and Zanina moves around Moser. Still on it. Under a minute to go on the power play. Here's Netjas with it to the goal line to count. A centering pass and either stopped there by Hollenstein. Great stop by the Swiss netminder. Left the floor trying to poke that free. Brought up now by Simone Lacotte, who plays for Moncton in the Quebec League. Netjas knocked down by Verboon. And the referee just shook his head when. Netjaz looks for a penalty. Brought in now by Kral, a centering pass, count with a shot. And Hall really tough for the smaller countries. If you don't get the luck of the birth year draw, you run out of players in a hurry. But the Swiss have really populated NHL rosters with really good players that are all in the midst of their careers right now. Who catch a centering pass? And that the penalties are different, and he's too important to be sitting in the penalty box. So four on four now here. With seven gone in the opening period. Moser plays it up ahead. The Swiss will play Canada tomorrow and close against Denmark and Russia. Swiss got relegated in the Czech Republic in 2008. Returned in 2010 to the tournament in Saskatoon. Knocked the Russians out in the quarterfinals that year and have been in the top group at the World Junior ever since. Mueller drops it off to Kurashev, walks in, back to Mueller, in, shoots, and Dostal makes the save in tight. Kurashev back with it. Across the goal to Lakutra. Nifty move around Plashek, feeds it back across. And that puck bounced away from Nico Gross. In comes Kurashev. Chicago draft pick, that shot was blocked, and Cal plays it out, and the puck goes in two. Leaves the puck back for Gaspar. Out, trying to chip that ahead, picked up by Loyenberger, and he's away with Gerber. Loyenberger trying to take that pass from Gerber. Tied up in the corner and moving ahead now, Sandro Schmidt. He got tied up. And back to pick it up is David Burundin, a returnee for the Swiss, who plays it back across to Moser. Oh, he's gotten away of that. When you come to see top end players, you see lots of them here in the first period for the Czech. Gross, playing his third world junior, taps it out for Nicholas Mueller. Puck knocked down at center ice. Rabbit. Plays it back for Matiska. He had Mueller all over him. And play continues as count comes on for Zadina. A six man scrum for the puck. Make it eight. 
And now Bukash plays it off the end boards, and it's jammed up and moved out by Lakota. Lehman with his team changing, winds in across the line. He's all alone in there. Lehman tries to buy some time. He got buried by Cow. Robin. There's the try and hit in the Western League. Moves out ahead. Abisher. David Abisher slides out ahead. Picked up by Kurashev. In on Count Kurashev for Nussbaumer. Nussbaumer centers it. And then goes right down to Dostal. Teller knocked that away. Lucas Dostal, kind of forgotten man there for the checks in the last 10 minutes or so. That chance for Count. Plays that in deep. And Hollenstein way out to play it. Loose puck to Netjaz. Slides it back across the crawl with a shot that was blocked by Perny. And Nussbaumer has it back now for the Swiss. Chips that down they took. But this is just a two. The checks back. They negated their own power play earlier. Here's Netjaz with it. Plays it back to Crawl. A hard shot. Hollenstein to save. Rebound loose in front. And he couldn't reach it. Yeah, good, good stop on the... Martin Kaut deflection. Hollenstein's been sharp here in the first period. Hollenstein plays for the Zug Academy. So a team that plays in the Swiss Second League. Net Jazz plays it back across. That would be the Swiss version of their national team development program. Going to try to keep top young Swiss players together. Now picked up by Barundin. David Barundin. Rink wide, he goes to Loyenberger, goes behind the back. Loyenberger back in front, shoots, and a great shorthanded chance there. Turned away by Dostal. Oh, beautiful move for Loyenberger. Back comes Zadina the other way. Rink wide, he goes for Netjaz. A quick pass there. Couch just missed the tip in front. Final minute now, the period. The shots piling up 11 to 4 in favor of the Czech, but there's still no score. And we welcome those in minutes. And what was a pretty good first period leads us to period two with no goals. Galvez brings it in around Gross. Team wise player Schmidt is back on the ice. Two shots on goal for the Czechs in that most recent power play. And Gerber sends that pass rink wide for Lukutra. Moves it and shoots, and Dostal knocks that away. Hobby. Rink wide to Martin Count, the Colorado first round pick. Plays that rink wide for net chance. That's broken up and moved up by Bruschweiler. Bruschweiler up for Gerber. A centering pass, but behind the intended target, Bruschweiler. And net chance brings it back. Poke checked by Gerber. Net chance has it right back. In comes net chance. Holds and says that rink wide. A great pass and a shot right on. Taken there by Mikiska. Kicked away by Hollenstein. Kurashev for the faceoff against Netjas, who wins that cleanly. Netjas has seven goals this year in 26 games with Charlotte. Scored his first NHL goal against Tampa back in October. Part of that young core in Carolina that they're pretty excited about. As Count works in with a Swiss changing Count. Walks in, old backhand tap there. Pretty good puck movement off the face-off win for the Swiss. In under five minutes here in the second period, the Swiss had as many shots as they had all the first. Now eight in the game. Kurashev to Eggenberger. Kurashev trying to dig that free. Netchaz. A tie up there. Kurashev plays it back to Bernie. Kurashev with a lane. He's that down the goal line, and Eggenberger couldn't handle the pass. Kurashev back with it. Plays for Quebec in the Quebec Major Junior League. Kurashev, Eggenberger, back to Kurashev. Eggenberger squeezed back in the corner by Katasnitsha, but the line held by Berenik. Rink wide, he goes to Mueller. Back to Berenik. Mueller. A minute to go on the power play. Berenik across the Kurashev, a hard drive, just missed. Wow, did he hit that. It's two in the tournament, and... The Oshawa general is giving the Swiss a 1-0 lead. Now a centering pass kept in behind Kaut. And chopped down at center ice. Brought in now by Netjaz, playing in his third World Junior Tournament. That's broken up by Nussbaumer, moves it out, and Netjaz gave him a hard ride on the sideboards. Galvas 
across to Hobby. That chance plays it back in deep. Arundas drops it back, but that chance got there first for the check. Kurashev taps it around. Galvas picks it up in the corner, centers for count down to net chance. Net chance back to count with a quick shot. Scores! Slides in through Hollenstein, and the game is tied at one. A power play set as Netchas and Kaut are going to play the puck down below the goal line. Kaut goes back to Netchas and then right back to him. And Kaut squeezes this underneath the pad of Hollenstein. It goes right through him and squeaks under the right pad. Martin Kaut, a first round pick by the Colorado Avalanche. He's playing in the American League this year too. He's got five goals in 26 games for the Colorado Eagles in the American League, and he's tied this game up. The Swiss zone. Rabic. Knocks that down for Netjaz in full stride. Now the centering pass goes right back to Netjaz, has some room. Feeds it across to Kaut. Two forwards back to the blue line for the checks. Netjaz, in with a wrist shot that's tipped just high. That is crazy. The two defensemen were stacked up in a screen in the middle of the, in the, middle of the net. Here they come again. Abisher with a pass ahead to Eggenberger. That misfired. And now Count swings back for it. Tied up by Tanner. 8.45 to go in the second period. A 1-1 tie. Rabi. Rink wide to Count. In on Moser. Count. To Necha. 5 on 5. The Czechs have dominated this game. Bernie. Plays it across to Mueller. Now the goal line to Eggenberger. Loyenberger parked in front. The pass in behind him. Moved down the ice by McKeeska. And the Swiss like to set this up. Tied up there by Netjas. Verboon steps into him. Kutra Chips that ahead to Nussbaumer. Rink wide pass to Gerber. Back to Schmidt. The Kutra. Across to Verboon. Here's Schmidt with it. Walks right in. Feeds it down to the goal line. Nussbaumer back to the Kutra. Shoot. Just missed wide. I don't think Dostal had a look at that. He was late reacting. Here's the Kutra back with it. 20 seconds to go on the power play. <laughs> and Dost. But, no, it's surprising when you think about it. I mean. The Czechs insist on their coaches having technical knowledge, though. Schmid lost the puck to that jazz. The teams are back to five on five. Two shots for the Swiss, and that last power play remains tied at one. Net jazz swings it for Kaut to Kavaznitska. Schmid stepped into him. There's Moser with it. Brings it back around to Berundin. High off the glass, Gerber. And they bounce off him. And Berundin plays it back to Moser up the center ice. Schmid had that knocked away by Kavaznitska. Now a chance for Gerber. One on one against Galvis. In comes Gerber with a chance. And that tip wide. As Dostal reached up the stick to knock that away. Gerber back on it again. Swiss have 11 shots in this period after four in the first. And now a penalty coming. And as Seegers took down his man Pekash. And so the Czechs are going on the power play here. And the goaltender has gone to the bench for the extra skater. Touched up by Eggenberger tonight on TSN. Dean's in the top group for the fifth consecutive year. You always find a way. Last year beat Belarus in the relegation side to stay up. Germany's coming up next year. After five years out of the tournament. Relegated in 2015 in Toronto. Zadina. Rink wide he goes in the check power play. Here's Count with it. Down to Netjaz. Back to Zadina. That went off his skate. A chance now for Bruchweiler for the Swiss. Trying to center it for Loyenberger. And now Count with a chance with the Swiss changing. In comes Count. Winds in and holds. Back. Pass back to Kroll, shoots, that's punched away by Hollenstein. Kroll is the only defenseman out here, four forwards for the Czechs. Zanina, who plays the point in the Czech power play. 
Kaut tried to send that pass. It's broken up. Net jazz back to crawl. Feeds across to Zadina. Flips it back to crawl. Across he goes to Net jazz. Finds Kaut the goal line. Fan on that pass. Now Kaut back with it. Across he goes to Zadina. Moves it and shoots. And that pass is tipped away by Brushfather. Net jazz. Again, Tanner got a stick on that. Zadina. Winds in, 30 seconds to go in the power play. Zadina feeds it back to Crawl. Across Zadina, one time shot blocked by LeCoutre that broke his stick. Now gets one from a forward. Netchass moves in. Now it's five on three and a half, really, as Zadina moves in. Another Swiss defender on the stick, that's gross. Across comes Netchass with a shot. Hollenstein made the save. You need some patience here. Find the guys without the stick. They're both on the same side. Netchass down to Cow. Cow in shoots. That's blocked by Gross. A great job there. In the power play for eight seconds. One rule change being pro promoted for the NHL would be that if you start the period in the power play, the faceoff would be in the offensive zone. Oh, my idea, just saying, was an idea. Sure, sure. Coach moves in and shoots its glove. The spirit I'm, I'm showing here, Gordon. I'm agreeing you, with you. You should see what he's not in the Christmas spirit. <laughs> Need some mimosas to wash it all down. <laughs> Count. Now play for Kavaznichka. And Rebic has that taken away. So the teams are back to five on five, and the Czechs need to keep it this way for a while. And they just crippled themselves in the second period with five minor penalties. They just, not only are you killing penalties, but a player like Zadina never gets on the ice. Right. He doesn't kill penalties. So noticeable in the first, but invisible in the second, basically. As Moser has it back now for the Swiss. Just a little guy, about five foot ten, doesn't fill up a lot of the net, so he's got to get out to the top of that paint as much as he can. He's able to do it on that last shot. Goaltenders that are six feet tall are becoming like unicorns in the NHL. How many times did we have someone in that tournament? When UC Saros was playing, tell us if he was over six feet, he would have been a first rounder. Netchaz fired that just wide. You wonder if the Czechs here in the third period would think about putting Netchaz and Zadina together. No! See, I, I don't know yet, Gord, because the first period they carried so much of the play. And they're on different lines. However, they spent the whole last period killing penalties. And even better play defensively by Jacob Locko. At the other. Lockway Boston third round pick. And now Havoc moves in. Poke check by Abisher. Havoc. Plays that back. In comes Count with it. Count. Drops it back and Gaspar screwed himself into the ice. Now Nikiska goes back to Netjaz. To Count that goes off his stick. And Count has to retreat. Kaut, the 19-year-old, swings back, rink wide, and goes for Rabbit. Walks in a centering pass for Netjaz, puts it through the crease. Hollenstein dove over, and Netjaz threw it wide. Netjaz again, feeds it back. In comes Rabbit. He's knocked down, a boot catch rather. Now moved out by Sigrist. He had Nussbaumer with him. Rabic plays it across to Bukac. Bukac trying to work it free. And Lukutra has it back now for the Swiss. A lead pass to Nussbaumer. And Nussbaumer chips out ahead. Sigris goes looking for it. And a battle for it in behind the check goal. Sigris trying to work that free. Here's Netchas with it. Netchas. Lines through center ice. Up for Rabic. Back for Netchas. It's broken up by Barry. A chance now for the Swiss is Miller. Gets behind the fall and check defender. Mueller works in and shoots. The save made by Donstall off his mask. The referee checks him to make sure he's okay. And back down to the Swiss zone. Hunter even at 23. The score tied at one. In comes Count with it. Flips that down to the Swiss zone. Berndon. Plays that around. Pick free by Mueller. He's got he goes with him. Mueller for sequence that's broken up on a good defensive play by Gaspar for the Jacks. 
Nuss Brommer trying to work that free. Bobby comes in now for the checks. Now it is both free for Kout. He's got Netchass with him. In comes Kout for Netchass. Loose in the slot. Feeds it across. Robbie in. Shoots at the goal post. Bring it right up the inside of the pipe. Can't believe he missed. Bukac back with it. Wow. Netchass just kicked that up another gear, and all of a sudden the checks had the puck again. Now Hollenstein plays out of the side boards with Kukru. Back around for Berning. Kicked ahead by Bruschweiler. And Gaspar swings back for it. Four and a half to go in a tie third period. Lead pass knocked away from Berning. Lead pass for Eggenberger. Knocks that down into Eggenberger. Was tied up by Count. The line held though by Bernie. No tournament. Got the Swiss's only goal. For Boone threw that through the middle of the ice. It was almost picked off by Count. And now Gerber comes in with Schmid. Schmid trying to center it. Picked up by Gaspar. Chips it ahead for Netjaz in full stride. In comes Netjaz on the Kutra. And the puck. Loyenberger and Bernie on the back end. They win the draw. But Count is able to kick that out. Tim Berni, who quarterbacks his Swiss power play, drops it back on to Kurashev to Mueller. Mueller got stopped. Rather, uh, Martin Netchass has three minor penalties. He's got two this afternoon. This is a critical time. Kurashev swings a rink wide for Loyenberger. And the Swiss gets set up. Loyenberger back to Mueller. He was being pressured by Rabik. Now Berni with it. Cross to go to Kurashev. Kurashev to Berni. Cross to Mueller. Mueller back to Berni. Slaps it across. Kurashev couldn't contain that pass. Loyenberger. Battles for in the corner. Eggenberger in there as well. And now Martin Kaut works it free for the checks. Kaut short handed. Under two to go now in the third period. Kaut chips it in deep. Hollingstein way out to play it. Around he goes for Mueller. Kurashev. Watch. Central scouting last spring. Picking the third round by Anaheim. Moved ahead and a late chance now for the checks. Lauko moves in. Lauko along with Kaut. And Lauko in a battle there with Gross. Bruce Schreiner picks up a loose puck. Shovels that ahead. It's knocked down by Kavisnichka. Lauko scoops to the center ice and a chance now late for the checks. Kaut moves in. Drops. Netchats in. Shoots. Hohenstein. A bad save. And the Swiss sent it back down the ice. Kavaznice goes back. The puck died before it got to the goal line. And this game is going to overtime. One. Kavaznice back for it. Netchaz is out there. Along with Kalk. Kurashev. And Eggenberger for the Swiss up front. Netchaz. Winds in. Holds. Fans with that shot. Gets it back. Netjaz down to count for Kavaznichka. Walks in and shoots. It was off the stick of Eggenberger and wide. And Lekutra picks it back up for the Swiss. Quick change now for the Czech Republic. Eggenberger winds his way in. Swiss get Berni out there, but now it's picked up by Lauko. Back up Lauko. Walks in, drops. Kavaznichka back to count. In shoots off the outside of the post. And now count counters it back up. Count. Holes got poke check there. Kavaznicka picks it back up. Shoots the traffic scores. David Kavaznicka, overtime winner, and the Czechs take their opener 2-1 over Switzerland. For a change, he was exhausted. He'd been out for the entire overtime. He hit the the goal post here, but he's going to keep it alive. Watch, he's going to leave the puck here now. He's eventually going to leave for a change. He's like, okay, I'm tired. I'm out of here. Whoa, it's in the net <laughs> through the screen. I don't think Hollenstein sees well. No, no, I can tell he doesn't see it. Look, he looks to his right, and as he looks to his right, the puck by David Kavishnichka is delivered to his left. And a terrific 2-1 overtime hockey game as the Czechs win their opener over the Swiss. The first shot of the overtime finds the back of the net.
to give the Czechs the victory.